So, welcome back to the channel again. And actually, you might have seen this in one of my videos where I had this on the Subaru engine, but I didn't tape and show you how I bled the cylinder, which is kind of what they want you to do nowadays, is to bleed the cylinder. So, um, I don't know why, but sometimes these are shipped or turned over, they're all over the place. They like you to bleed these now. So, I'm gonna show you how I do it, and it's a pretty simple job, actually. So, I just got my vise at work, and I have a small vise here that I put uh, this in, and I put a little pressure on it, so then you just uh, pull the pin. There we go. And all you do is just back up slowly with this, bleeding it out. And this, this, this could take a while, because this takes a while. And just let the pin out. And then you have to turn it back in. And I already did this once. I don't know if doing it again will ruin it. But after you're done, you must actually just keep this upright so that no air can enter again. And I don't know how. You know, I, I really don't. But this thing's a little wonky sometimes. So got a cap on it. And leave her there for a second or two. Mm -hmm. There we go, get her nice, nice up and down. And uh, turn back on the little, the little cap. So that is letting the pressure off. And then when I turn it back in, it's gonna take a while because I'm gonna do the same thing. Slow turn to turn it back in. Now, I only did it uh, once on the other one. I don't know if I had to do it more than once, but I did it once, and uh, hopefully that's right. I'll turn it a little again. See if this thing release down here. I'm just gonna give her a little tap down there, and I'll get you in closer here. You can see where the pin is actually coming up. So that's good. That's bleeding the air out. Well, at least I hope it is. So, do her again. That's uh, doing her slowly until the pin is all the way out. And then we have to turn her back in to get the pin back to where it was. And, well, actually the piston, get the piston back to where it was and put back in the safety pin. Actually, hold on to these after you get rid of them because things are handy. Like you wouldn't believe. Man, I, I used quite a few and wish I had more. And there we go. She's all the way out. So there you go. She is all the way out. And now I am going to start turning her back in. So. Connect it, yep. And there we go. We'll just do her nice and slow. Hopefully, we'll get her back into the right spot. I can see that it has turned on me a bit here, which doesn't make me happy. I think she'll be okay. A little bit more turned in. Things are under a lot of pressure, these little, little pistons here, so. You gotta go slow on these. And uh, I was only told from when I bought this to do it once, 
once out, once in. So I'm kind of hoping that was enough. If anything, you know, I put a lot of these in in my day and actually never bled them. And it seems like these things bust no matter what. So they, they are just that way, you know, they're just that way. All right. Well, I'll come back to this. So there we are, we're just about almost there. Back turned all the way in, I hope. I think she is. I just gotta get this pin in here. Now, I'll get a good look of her here. I think I am at the right spot. So much easier the last time. Oh. Yeah, I'll get it back in there. I'm gonna go turn it a little more. So I am not at the right spot. I'll figure it out. Well, on this one, I let her out again. And now I'm going to crank her back down again, slowly. It only allows you to go so far until it does its thing. Because the uh, it was not aligned with me putting back in the pin. So I must have moved something there. So I got her all aligned again. And now I'm going to push down on the piston again and get her down there. I won't touch it this time. I'll just go. And it just goes down slowly until the pressure equalizes and then it's easier to turn. So hopefully this is helping anybody, but yeah, this is what I'm doing. So there we go, we got the pin back in. Now I can release the pressure here and take this out of here. And of course, do not, oops, do not tilt it or turn it around like that. Try to keep it upright like this. If you're transporting, well, transport it like this. Keep it up like this so that it's facing, uh, well, upwards. And there we go. I'm not gonna touch that again. Next thing will be I'm just gonna put her back on the vehicle. I already did this once. Well, maybe I now have it super bled out. You never know. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's the way I was told to do it, so I just did what I was told. All right. Thanks for watching.